John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today is What's on the Table. It's Wednesday again, so I thought I'd update you guys on current projects. So what do I have here? Um, it's more Battletech and uh, Team Yankee. I'm hoping this week to film a kind of an introductory battle uh, for Battletech, so I wanted to finish these guys up. Um, they're probably in the, uh, the decal phase and finish the basing, but you can kind of see where I'm going here. Some cool models. I finished the uh, the clan mechs last week, so now I need to make these inner sphere mechs. I do like these little guys, little light mechs. Very cool stuff. Um, and him, I need to pick out a, a few highlight colors. I think I'm going to do all of these guys with some decals, or at least most of them, so they have like numbers and stuff um, on them. Uh, just to give that little extra bump of, of detail, but otherwise these are pretty close to, to done um, And then we'll throw them up against the clan and see who's successful So in addition to Battletech, I have been building more Team Yankee. I actually got a Team Yankee game in um, Last week we actually filmed an introductory battle which should be out sometime this week um, And I played a hundred point battle against my friend Mark uh, kind of as a, a primer or remembering the game um, and that made me excited for Team Yankee, so I want to do more Team Yankee. Mark and I are scheduling a, another Team Yankee game to actually film. Uh, but in the meantime, I wanted to add more uh, Bradleys to my force, because I have a lot of, uh, of other stuff, but I don't really have a lot of Bradleys. I just had the two in the starter box. So um, here we go. We've got uh, eight uh, Bradleys that I've, I've put together this week. Um, I just love the Bradley. I love the way it looks. Um, one thing I noticed doing research was apparently the first box and my starter box, um, had an error in it. And, um, basically there's this cutout here for the driver. Um, and you can see this little cutout here that was missing in the first generation of boxes. Um, the boxes that I picked up here obviously are, are corrected, but it's something to consider that if, if this uh, side skirt doesn't have the cutout, that's wrong for the M3A2 uh, and the M2A2. Um, you can also cut the existing one uh, to, to make it look correct, uh, but it's good that Battlefront listened to uh, uh, the correction and, and got it out. Um, but I like the I like these models. They're really cool. They are a ton of detail. You saw it. Um, you saw this in more detail when I did my unboxing for the starter set. Um, so I didn't bother doing an unboxing for just another box of Abrams, but or sorry, uh, Bradleys. But you can see the detail, all that cool rivet-like detail. It's a cool tank. So I'm hoping to get these primed, but weirdly enough, um, it's raining in Arizona this week, so uh, I can't uh, spray paint. Um, so I can't prime these guys until um, until we get the sun out and the humidity drops. So it's really weird. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to get these done in time for uh, the filmed uh, upcoming Team Yankee Battle Report. But that's my goal. I'd like to have at least uh, some of these. Another thing to point out, too, on these models is the... Um, the tow launcher, the anti-tank missile, can either be in the upright position or in the stowed position. So I like that. So I did four of each. Uh, just another way to, um, you know, delineate the models. And then I've got a couple of sprues of, of Flames of War stowage that I'm probably going to tack on to some of these tanks as well. But there you go, guys. That's what's on the week. A whole lot of Bradleys, a whole lot of mechs. We like to thank you for watching. Please do give us a like and subscribe if you like what you see. Also, let me know down in the comments below. More Battletech, do you want to see it? More Team Yankee, do you want to see that? Um, I'm always interested in the feedback and producing content that you guys are going to enjoy. Always, uh, as always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming.